Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to your daily tarot reading for Thursday, June 18th, 2020. Let's get these cards shuffled up and let's look at the energy and the vibes for today. What do we want to be aware of and what kind of strategies do we want to put in place for this Thursday to make it more productive, more efficient, more effective, and basically make us a little bit more happy, right? So let's get these cards cut down. And I think we're good to go. So let's put this first pile down. Our second pile. And finally now, last but not least, our last pile. And today, I'm really feeling a, a bond between either the first or this, the last pile. It's really um, kind of an intense energy. But the last pile really seems to be calling me out. So... Let's go with this um, last deck and see what we have. And we have the Eight of Swords. Let's talk a little bit about this intimidating Minor Arcana card. Obviously, it's intimidating. We have blindfolds, we get swords um, and trapping somebody. It can definitely be an intimidating card. But does it really have to be? That's the question, right? So when we look at swords in general, it's all about communications. It's all about thoughts. It's all about how we perceive situations. And it's all about things that we can do in order to make things better for ourselves. Either through communication, through the way we change our thinking, changing our perception, that sort of thing. So when we come to um, keywords for this, one of the keywords that always pops up, obviously, is feeling trapped, right? Blindfolded, tied up, surrounded by swords. Definitely feeling slightly trapped there. Maybe feeling restricted as well. Maybe um, feeling like your hands are tied, literally, or backed in a corner, right? Um, maybe even feeling victimized, anxious, um, feeling some pressure, feeling helpless. You know, all the things that tie into that type of um, thought process. Now, another way of looking at this is to look at the Eight of Swords, right? And really try to focus on um, some of the positives as well. First off, let's think about who and what it's attached to from a major arcana card, which is strength. And that speaks volumes because strength is all about um, being uh, able to tame something that sometimes is frightening, right? Uh, when we look at the strength card, it's um, a lady, or we'll say a figure anyway, um, petting a lion. So that being said, it's all about taming something that uh, would otherwise be frightening, um, walking with courage, so to speak, walking with um, confidence, so to speak. So when we look at the general context of the swords card, it's representing, yes, you're feeling trapped, you're feeling confined, you're feeling restricted, you're feeling backed in a corner maybe, even maybe that your hands are tied. But the reality of it is, you're feeling it. If you take the blindfolds off, you would see that you're not bound to this situation. This situation is perception, and this situation is absolutely temporary. What you do need is to have that self-confidence. What you do need is to have that inner strength to take that blindfold off, to take those bindings off, and quite literally walk through the swords, because they're not actually blocking your path. When we see water, we always think about intuition, we think about wisdom, and we think about changes. And that being said, this is all about that. Look at your inner thoughts, your wisdom. Um, look at your intuition and move forward away from where you're feeling. Nothing is negative and nothing is empowered over us unless we allow it to be. Nothing in this world can be negative or empowering over us unless we allow it. Once we give it power, then it's empowered. If we do not give it that power, we do not give it that energy, we can move forward. So if you're feeling hopeless right now and you're feeling like there's a sense of danger all around you, you're feeling sort of tied to this situation, that's all temporary. And quite literally, that's all you. You, and this is good news, of course, you have the ability to see things through clearly. You have the ability to unbind yourself, unbound yourself from this situation and walk away. Now, 
we may not want to walk away because it involves other people or people that we do care about. However, we must understand sometimes for our own well-being, for our own mental health, and for our own life, we need to walk away from situations that no longer serve us. Now, that ties into obviously love and relationship standpoint. So again, this is all about those feelings I just um, talked about. I'm not going to go back over them again, but the reality of it is it's your perception. Perception is one's reality. If you want change, you can make change. If you want to leave, you can absolutely leave. You don't need to be involved with crisis, drama, dilemmas, and negativity. And if that's all that's going on right now in your inner circle, it's time for you to rearrange your inner circle because your inner circle should be bringing you calm, peace, and solitude not crisis, not dilemma, and definitely not drama. So you really want to take a step back. You really want to think about things and you really, really, really want to follow your intuition. Now, from a money and a career standpoint, the same thing goes, right? Feeling trapped in a current career situation, maybe a position, maybe a, an assignment that's been given to you. You're feeling powerless, hopeless, helpless, all of those less things. Reality of it is, you are the, real, the, the master of your own destiny. You can make the changes that you want to manifest. What you need to do, again, is take yourself out of this bound state. Take this blindfold off. Decide what it is that really you want to do and move forward with it. If it's a project that's bogging you down, take the blindfold off, put the nose to the grindstone, and plow your way through this project so you can get onto something a little bit better. If it's people that you're around right now that you're working with that you're dissatisfied with, get through the situation with them and move forward. Always, always, always take the high road. So, hope you enjoyed this reading for today. I feel it's definitely a Thursday card. And I hope you all have a safe and wonderful Thursday. I look forward to seeing you all back here tomorrow. And until then, be safe, be well, and be blessed.